So let me understand this. You guys get this deal with CBS Radio. Right. Out the gate, is it a real deal or are you working for free again? No. Well, it's a rev share deal. It's a rev share. Gotcha. So in a sense, it's free in the beginning. And I could tell you some of the rough patches we had, if you want. Uh, please, no. How please. we got paid. So we didn't get paid for six months doing Drink Champs because nobody's, nobody anticipated that Drink Champs would pop as big as it did and as quickly as it did. Not CBS radio, not anybody. How, we, okay, so, so, so before, and, 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 and I wanna go into those challenges. How yeah. quickly did it pop? So I did some research and I said, I, told, I asked people, what, what numbers do we need to make a couple thousand you know, a month at the least? And they were like, well, if, you, if one episode can get at least between 30 and 50,000 listens, in a couple of weeks, you're looking at a, at a podcast that could generate a few thousand a month dollars of, of revenue, of uh, ad revenue. I was like, all right, cool, whatever. You know, uh, we'll look at that. Fat Joe episode drops first week. Mind you, they said in a, you, 30 to, to 50,000 listens in a couple of weeks. First week out the gate, 300,000 listens. Are you Second serious? Week, yeah, second week it's hitting five hundred thousand. We're the, the next episode. We're hitting million listens. They didn't. They were like they couldn't even because. So you're you know CBS Radio is using the advertising arm of CBS at the time. You know they're they're a corporate you know ad agency and so how do they sell these hip hop guys talking crazy, getting drunk, talking all this wild stuff? They got the numbers, but it's like, how do you sell that to Charmin? How do you sell that to, you know, to, to, these, to these brands? They just didn't know how to sell it. And they couldn't sell it. They didn't know what to do. And so for six months, and we, were, we, you know, we started getting upset, but eventually once the six months passed and they finally found some kind of a groove um, and they got some initial advertising, the, the advertising money was pretty good. And another quick note too that I haven't really talked about is that the first meeting when we signed with uh, CBS, I told them, so you guys are CBS. This is a television show. I know we're doing an audio deal, but you guys should consider upstreaming us already and trying to shop us to your TV side. You know, we're a television show. And well, they didn't what made it. you say that, E? I don't know. I just knew it. Like, I just felt like this was a, a, a television, like this was a visual show too. Because be at, at the time, you only have two episodes in a can. You got Kenny Anderson, you got Fat Joe. Right. I was uh, just are you to get feeling it. like the, the synergy was there and the chemistry between yeah. you and the guests and what you guys were doing, drinking, having fun, very, very open and candid conversations, this can be bigger than audio form? Absolutely. I mean, I, my thing with podcasting is that you, anything that you do visually can be an audio podcast on its own and create its own revenue. It doesn't mean that one negates the other. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, we got this business. Let's create this other business together, guys. You know, you're CBS. You got, you know, you got it. Let's do it. You know, I don't think, not that they didn't see it, but I'm talking to the podcast department. They really didn't have any pull on the, on the TV side of things. And so that just didn't come into fruition. But I, I thought it was ill that I already saw it. Like, I, I actually think back on it. I'm like, you know, I saw it, you know, and, and eventually it did happen that it became a television show and, and a big uh, YouTube show as well. And, and, you know, I was trying to do it from early on. And we were filming from day one also. I had cameras in that's there from dope. day one. That's dope. And, and, and that's the other thing, too, talking about being prepared. So when, when Nori was ready, I made sure that I just – it was turnkey operation. I already had engineer ready. I had mics there. Um, you know, I had – it was originally done in my – another office I had uh, in downtown at the time. I had everything set up. I had a step and repeat ready. Everything, you know, turnkey Nori. You just got to show up and be Nori, and let's do this. And and, and that's and and then you know and like I said, the rest is history. Wow, wow. I want to go backwards first. I want to shout out Fat Joe because yeah. behind so many success stories, yep, the name Fat Joe always is in the mix somewhere. Yep, that guy has been so giving of himself, his celebrity, his time for so many people. Yeah, so has. it doesn't surprise me. At first I was thinking, I was like, well, maybe it's the Latin connection between you all that he would be, you know, right. your second guest. 
But as I was thinking more, I'm like, you know something? Everybody I know, some way their story leads <laughs> back to Fat Joe long yeah. before they ever blew. So shout out to Fat Joe um, yeah. on, on that behalf. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.